Hi, I'm Marty Chan, author of the book Haunted Hospital. It's a creepy tale about four teenagers posing as ghost hunters and they go into an abandoned hospital to look for ghosts. What they find instead is far more terrifying. Now, thanks to the Writers Trust of Canada and the Amplified Voices program, I get to share with you a writing tip if you're working on scary stories for young readers. Now, this is going to be a quick video, so it's going to be a two-minute tip. I'm going to start off by saying that today's readers, especially kids, they have a vast vocabulary of creepy, scary, terrifying images. Thanks to streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime, YouTube, the internet, they have seen pretty much everything that is creepy, gory, or horrifying. And you're thinking as a writer, how on earth am I going to cut past all that chatter to come up some with something that will actually unsettle and scare the kids without getting the parents writing angry emails to you? Here's the trick. Tap into their imagination. Tap into their vast knowledge of all things creepy. And what you want to do is you want to limit the knowledge of what's going on in your story. And the best way to do that is to write the story from the first person point of view of your protagonist. By limiting what they come across, what they experience and what they see, if you hint or imply or suggest what might be happening in the story, well, guess what? The kids' imaginations will fill in the blanks and the story will seem far more terrifying than anything that you could actually show on the page. So take that as a tip. If you're writing a scary book for kids, write it from a first-person point of view. And if you're looking for a cool scary book for kids to read, check out my book, Haunted Hospital.